call the meeting to order tonight with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everyone, tonight. Uh, roll call, Mr. Lumberg. Oh, Yes. Odie? Yes. Saxer? Yes. Scott? Yes. Bell? Yes. All right. Uh, if there is nothing on the agenda that needs to be changed, I would entertain a motion to approve it as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Next, uh, conflict of interest disclosure waiver requests. We have two tonight. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the two conflict of interest disclo uh, disclosure waiver requests on the agenda. Uh, F1, uh, this waiver consists of a request from uh, Member Bell. Uh, the contract in question is Avell eCare. Um, which services Valley Springs Elementary, and then obviously the Brandon Valley School District is um, included in that contract. Uh, Member Bell's spouse is a high-ranking official with Avell eCare. I uh, would recommend the waiver be authorized as the terms are fair and reasonable and not contrary to public interest. All right, with that, I would enter entertain a motion to approve F1 waiver request number one for Mr. Bell, please. So move. Second. There's been a first and a second. Roll call, Mr. Lumberg. Odie. Yes. Scott. Yes. Saxer. Yes. Bell. Stan. Oh. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, the second uh, waiver request uh, this evening is again from Member Bell Family Services, Inc., uh, where Member Bell serves as the executive director, provides counseling services uh, at times to Teach Well Solutions, which is our co-op. Uh, again, I would recommend the waiver be authorized as the terms are fair and reasonable and not contrary to public interest. I would entertain a motion to approve waiver request F2 for Mr. Bell. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. Roll call vote, Mr. Lumberg. Saxer? Yes. Scott? Yes. Odie? Yes. Bell? Same. Oh. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Next item, we have two sets of minutes from our regular meetings on August 8th and August 22nd. I would entertain a motion to approve those as presented. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Community input, I don't think we have any on the agenda for tonight. That takes us to our financial items, bills and claims. Mr. I'll be very open to any questions that the board members might have. Uh, typical bills at this time of year, a lot of supplies and materials for the school district. I had uh, on page eight, Gilhaugen Construction, $1,024,000. To date is a million seven hundred fifty thousand on the nine million dollars. The total project nine point seven, I guess total. And then the only other one that I had noted was the Teach Well invoice. I just wanted to comment on that. That's a quarterly page eighteen quarterly payment of two hundred twenty-two thousand. Otherwise, I'd be open to any questions. There's two million two hundred twenty-seven thousand a total. Invoices, $36,651 of pay vouchers, substitutes and uh, curriculum type work, and then $91,922 of food service bills. Any questions for Mr. Lumberg tonight on the bills and claims? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve those as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Financial, whoops. Financial report, Mr. Lumberg. Okay, the cash report for the month of August, 17189000 coming into the month, $4,037,000 of receipts during the month, and $5.2 million of expenditures. Left just a little over $16 million at the end of August. 8768000 was in the general fund. 4860000 in the capital outlay fund, $1,798,000 in the spec ed fund, and $556,000 in the bond redemption fund. $4,037,000 is itemized on the next two pages. Uh, we 
received a big payment from the state for federal ESSER II funds, uh, 1.2 million, I think the total was. From that was from the previous year, 21-22. Uh, investment report, two million dollars. Two million one thousand. When I bought those treasuries, I was dealing with the officer at First National Bank, and I was rattling off. He said, what account do you want it on? And I pride myself, I know those by heart. And I rattled it off. And about a half hour later, he calls me. He said, there's not enough money in that account. Well, it was my personal account. <laughs> it was a million dollar transaction. Uh, payroll report for the month of August, $1.9 million of total payroll and the related benefits and deductions are there. Finally, the trust and agency report of $196,771 amounts held for others. Thank you. Any questions from anyone tonight on the financial report? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. That takes, thank you. That takes us to our general business items. Administration report, Superintendent Larson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just a few items to update you on here this evening. Um, again, free and reduced meal application. We continue to communicate that to families. We are uh, in the fourth or fifth week of school, so we'll start to see some of those negative balances peel off, which gives our, our CNS uh, staff an opportunity to remind folks that that application is available. But um, at our last meeting, I believe we were asked a question about the number of applications. I just thought I would share that with you. So pre-COVID, we had 327 uh, family applications in the year 2019-20. That was over the course of that entire year. Uh, and to this point, uh, we have 264 uh, family applications. So again, those continue to come in as we communicate with uh, our respective families, but uh, in order to receive the free meals, application must be completed. Accreditation, uh, desk audit is on November 22nd. Um, curriculum proposed social studies standards. Just want to note that uh, we have held a K-12 social studies department meeting. Uh, we walked through our process for formulating uh, school district uh, public feedback or comments. Um, we've asked them to collaboratively at the building level review uh, their respective standards and then work on the development of consensus questions at the building level. At that point in time, we'll conduct an administrative review of those respective grade level or building level comments. And then we will meet with that whole entire staff again prior to um, submission of any comments to the South Dakota Department of Ed. Uh, there are four meetings uh, that are required in accordance to uh, statute for um, the, uh, for standards to be adopted, and the first meeting has not yet happened. So uh, we've provided our staff with plenty of time to uh, thoughtfully review those and provide uh, feedback and or insight. We'd also note that uh, all of our parents are, and, and patrons of uh, the state of South Dakota are able to go out and take a look at those. Uh, they're on the South Dakota Department of Education uh, website and also the location for public review is, or public comment is also located on the DOE website. So I uh, wanna just provide you with an update on that current process. Uh, buildings and grounds, just some items to note um, at a very high level, uh, future school site infrastructure improvements. We are in the preliminary stages of communicating with the municipalities uh, that we work with. The east side Brandon Elementary site as well as uh, the intermediate school south site which is located uh, south of uh, Inspiration Elementary and then also our west side elementary site. Those three locations that we own and we have future buildings planned for those respective locations. We're starting to engage in some of those infrastructure conversations about uh, sewer, cost of roads, those various things. So uh, just know that the preliminary discussions on that, those infrastructure uh, improvements, timelines and costs have started to occur and we'll certainly provide additional information uh, once those details are uh, finalized. Uh, enrollment, again, we are a growing school district. Uh, we are looking at 127 new students or additional students as of uh, last week. Um, 
broke those numbers down for you. Again, that enrollment number is light off of our original uh, projection. Uh, so that'll have some budgetary impacts in terms of um, overall budget outcomes. Uh, we have 4,993 students K-12 and 5,023 students, including our early childhood kiddos. Some academic calendar items would note we're already talking about uh, parent-teacher conferences. Uh, the elementary and high school will hold parent-teacher conferences on October 3rd. The intermediate school and middle school will hold parent-teacher conferences on October 4th. There's no school on October 7th for the comp day, and then no school on Monday, October 10th for in-service. Hard to believe, but uh, the end of the quarter is on October 28th. There's no school on uh, November 11th for Veterans Day. High school addition, uh, again, want to just note um, no changes to the schedule, uh, no changes to priorities would continue to point folks to our high school um, addition informational website uh, for information in terms of traffic flow, bus loop, etc. cetera. Um, do want to credit uh, our high school administration and our operations department for formalizing a good solid plan in terms of parking, traffic flow, and operational um, uh, movement uh, within, the, within, the, uh, within and around the high school building. Uh, we are piloting a zero hour, which means that we have kids here um, basically at 7 a.m. and they take a class uh, before first period during zero hour. Uh, that has um, yielded some good results, bringing about 80, 80 different kiddos and cars uh, to the high school uh, out of rush hour time. So uh, hats off to um, high school administration and our operations uh, department for, for doing a good job. Um, it's not perfect and it is, it, it is uh, slow, but when you consider what is going on uh, within our building, it truly is a uh, very sound plan and has um, proved to be uh, very, very effective. Uh, with that, a couple of uh, updates regarding uh, the uh, high school addition project. Area, e, area A, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a phased project, and this is Area A. Uh, the foundation wall construction is complete, so Area A foundation walls are in, and you can see that, uh, see that here. This would be the start of area B where the footing construction is currently in uh, progress. This would be that east side entrance that you're looking at uh, that's all shored up. Again, footing construction in progress through area B as well. This would be that northeast entrance um, where the footings are, uh, footings are going in. Again, bus loop. Uh, it's a one-way drive lane. I appreciate our, our students and our parents for, uh, for not utilizing that during the a.m. and p.m. Uh, bus situation. Parking lot construction. I uh, just want to note that uh, the, the parking lot is complete. It is servicing also as the uh, marching band practice area. Uh, we don't yet have the lights up. Those were back ordered, um, but we hope to have those uh, installed here in the future. Uh, but it is uh, certainly servicing our parking needs. I would note that between this lot and the lot at the central office the other day, I did a quick count on my way over for a walkthrough, and there were over 100 spots in the middle of the day open. So um, we have definitely alleviated uh, our current parking situation. Uh, drainage swale and fine grade. Um, I would note that this picture is out of date as it was hydro seeded here just, uh, I think, just today. So uh, there's even been change to, uh, change to this swale since, uh, since uh, the photo was taken. Temporary wall construction. I had to put this up there again. I, I, I don't uh, know what else to say other than this is a prime time example of our kids uh, making the best out of what could be considered a difficult situation. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, give them lemons and they make lemonade here at Brandon Valley High School. I don't know, but I really appreciated the artwork uh, on that temporary construction wall. I don't know if they got permission or not, but I hope they continue to do that because I really like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's a couple more temporary walls that need some sprucing up. So uh, tell them to get back to work. Uh, no, it was uh, very cool. Very cool. And then again, uh, the uh, other temporary construction wall that will be painted by our next board meeting, and then also the temporary lighting. Uh, 
The project continues to progress uh, and remain uh, on schedule overall. Uh, certainly look forward to additional progress here in the, uh, in the coming months, but would certainly yield any questions you may have. Any questions for Superintendent Larson tonight? All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Lumberg, anything additional? All right. A high school, Mr. Schleckway? Mrs. Moore? Mr. Paula? Um, middle school, Dr. Nelson or Mr. Rothenberger? Anything? Uh, intermediate school, Mr. Skibstead or Mr. Pearson? Mrs. Otime, anything for special ed? Uh, Ms. Foster, anything? Mrs. Hofkamp? Mr. Horst? Mrs. Mutter or Mrs. Palmer? Quiet group. Mrs. Nelson, anything tonight? Mr. Henschel? Mr. Fricking? Quiet. All right. Board policy, none. That always makes us happy. Uh, general business, uh, consent items, numbers one through eight. I would entertain a motion to approve those as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Personnel, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve items one through eight. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Items 9 and 10 are for information for transfer uh, only. Um, communication, building permit applications, if there are any, they will be under that tab for you to look at. That takes us to board reports. Does anyone have a formal report that they would like to share tonight? Um, I would just say something that falls, I guess, under personnel. Um, first couple of weeks underway. Um, I've had a few stops, um, calls, emails in regards to kudos um, and calls out from teachers and administration in particular about um, education assistance substitutes and how they've really stepped up. Um, I know that it's fast and furious getting everything going and it's just been wonderful to get the praise and kudos to our education assistants and substitutes, how they're really um, been helping out our teachers and the staff uh, in many of our classrooms where we have students that just need that extra help. So um, just wanted to kind of call that out. I know we do everything we can and it's a great community um, and sometimes maybe we don't always specifically call them out. So I just wanted to say thanks to those that have called. Um, I know that we're still kind of filling some of those holes. Um, so I would say there's no thing, nothing better than recruiting and uh, doing that in our own community. So if we know anybody that we want to recruit from our own community or steal from others, uh, we can do that. <laughs> um, but also the best thing we can do is retain those that we have. So encourage um, those that we do have. The other thing, um, we're fast and furious with our first sports season. I know we have record numbers within our football programs from middle school and high school. Um, talking to Christensen and Reese and Sturgeon and their staff, as well as, I know we have dance and tennis and everything, marching band, I'm gonna miss plenty. Um, but talking to many of them, I know sometimes the biggest opposition they face is not always our opponents. Um, so if you know a colleague who is coaching while they're also in the classroom, I know they could use a lot of extra encouragement right now during the season, which I'm sure they're getting. But I just, again, want to say extra thanks and kudos. Uh, it takes a village, and I know that we're all pulling extra weight. So just, just wanted to say thank you for those calls and those texts and those emails. And um, we're doing our best. And if we can start recruiting, I know we put some extra funds towards some of those positions last year and uh, if we can bring more to our district we will do that so look for the good ones thank you anyone else i don't think we've had too many committee meetings yet at this point so all right sounds good that takes us to the end of our scheduled agenda i would entertain a motion to adjourn please second there's been a first and a second all those in favor Aye. opposed Motion passes. Thank you, and thank you very much for coming tonight.